Hello guys and welcome back in a new video. Uh, I decided to try to change uh, uh, the way I usually make video uh, because I want to bring you step by step uh, uh, through everything that I do to make my props or like everything I make on this channel and uh, I would like to be able to release one video every week uh, or more uh, I will see, I will try my best to make it happen uh, and before starting uh, uh, all this video about the Reaper mask, how you just saw on the title, I want to thank four people. Uh, first uh, is Ricardo. Uh, you probably already saw Ricardo on my video. Uh, he's my business partner and he's an amazing 3D designer and create this Reaper mask. Uh, if you want to check a speed art of the mask, uh, you you can find the link in the description. Uh, and uh, you will be able to download this model if you want on my Patreon campaign. Uh, then I need to thank Daniel, he's an, another amazing 3D artist and prop maker and uh, who give me different tips about post-processing uh, my props because how you saw usually I try to kind of post-process in them or I just printed them because I always prefer just uh, model and then printed my stuff. Uh, but I think post-processing is the next step I was missing and with this mask, uh, mask I did a lot of improvements on my skills. Uh, then I need to thank Jeffrey, he's another 3D uh, designer and uh, uh, prop maker and he gave me a lot of tips around airbrush. And uh, last but not less important uh, is Punish Props, is a YouTube channel uh, done by Bill and Brittany and they do amazing video about uh, uh, props making, uh, they use 3 printing too and they uh, always give a lot of tips how you can make stuff uh, with foam, 3 printing and other techniques and they are really cool guys and uh, you will find all the links for these people down below in the description if you want to check uh, their works so after Ricardo finished to model the mask uh, he gave me the STL file and uh, I, I need to split this uh, mask in two parts uh, to be able to fit in my Ultimaker 2 Plus. So I import the STL file in my Rhino 3D and I cut the mask in the way to reduce most possible the support material uh, during the printing. Uh, and I create three pins uh, to connect the mask and they will uh, help me after when I will glue together the two parts to align really well the two parts. So I printed the, the mask how I just tell you uh, with my Ultimaker 2 Plus and I used a silver pillay from Fon Futura. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, how you see like here, I usually always use their filaments uh, and they provide me a 15% discount. You can use on their website how many times you want and uh, it will pretty much uh, let you save some money and uh, I will receive a little kickback. After I glue together the two parts, uh, I just print with the Ultimaker 2 Plus uh, with epoxy and super glue and uh, pretty much I use both because super glue uh, is really quick to dry so it will keep together the parts in the right position. Epoxy take a bit more but it's more strong glue uh, and uh, and then I use uh, milliput to fill uh, the gap it create uh, where I glue together the two parts and uh, I wait around uh, three hours to be sure it was hard enough to be able to send it uh, at this point uh, you need to uh, be mentally uh, ready for sending sending and sending uh, because you will spend a lot of time on sending and uh, I just suggest you to don't forget to use protection like a uh, respirator mask with filter you can find it really cheap on eBay or Amazon like I found it I think for 11 pounds of like that so you will send down uh, with a 80 grit uh, sandpaper uh, until you don't see or feel anymore the layer uh, from the 3D printing process pretty much uh, I, because I print like this mask around 0.3 millimeter so uh, it was like fast print but at the same time uh, uh, with, Ultimaker, with my Ultimaker to add a really nice quality 
Uh, after sanding, uh, I clean the surface and I apply on top epoxy. Uh, if you, someone of you doesn't know what is uh, epoxy, is a finishing resin and uh, you find two bottles inside the box and one is resin and the other one is an uh, ardor. You will mix them in uh, equal amounts and you apply on top of uh, the mask. Uh, the working time is around 20-30 minutes and then the cure time is around 3 hours. Uh, after the epoxy cure you are ready to send again uh, everything and uh, afterwards uh, give a coat of filling primer. At this point you can understand if your mask has some imperfection uh, or you want to fix uh, uh, something uh, and you can do it uh, with 320 grit uh, sandpaper and filling primer and you can repeat this process until you are happy with the finishing of the surface. At this point I use for my first time an airbrush uh, and I mix uh, white, yellow and brown color and uh, to reach the color I was searching for is like a bone color uh, looking like the reference of the mask uh, and I remember uh, the paint need to have a consistency similar to the milk to be able to use it with an airbrush. Now you can load your hairbrush with the paint and start to experiment uh, with it and have uh, the best looking effects on the mask. Uh, don't worry if it's you're not precise because anyway you can uh, always uh, retouch some spot after with no issue. After I finished to work with the airbrush, uh, I decided to bring out all the little line cracks uh, and like big line you have on the mask. And to do that I use a brown paint with some drops of black and uh, with a really liquid consistency. Uh, I apply uh, the paint uh, with a brush and afterwards uh, with the help uh, of a tissue I remove the paint. Uh, in this way you can bring out the line and all the cracks having a really nice effect. Uh, the mask uh, at this point is almost ready. Uh, I just retouched some of the tail uh, with the help of the hairbrush and the brush. To finish uh, seal uh, and gloss uh, the mask I use some varnish. And uh, you can see here in the video, it will appear here somewhere the picture uh, or on my social, the final effect on the mask. Uh, unfortunately my company was invited at the biggest events in UK about gaming. Uh, the Insomnia Festival and we did a giveaway there and uh, this girl with the mask should be a period of picture of the girl with the mask uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you like uh, this more this kind of video where I explain everything step by step I would really like to see you making something and uh, post on social and tag me and I would be more than happy to see you like use some techniques I maybe speak about on my video and how I, how I told you at the start of the video you can find the mask uh, on uh, my Patreon campaign and if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments uh, in the section below or reach me on uh, every social like Facebook, Twitter or Instagram like right now I'm using a lot of the story of Instagram is really I found really comfy and I pretty much post every day so if you want to see a bit more behind the scene uh, feel free to jump on my Instagram and check what I'm doing that day a big thanks of all the, the Patreons who are supporting the channel and make more possible uh, create this kind of video because they always include the kind of, of budget like for all the tools I need uh, and uh, I will put of course in the description uh, all the social of the people I already mentioned at the start of the video and all the tools I use for this project so see you at the next video and remember raise your eyebrows